Wave Radio. Texas History Lessons presents an occasional daily dose of Texas history with your host, Michael. On May 2nd, 1874, Texas Governor Richard Koch, who was originally from Virginia, gave a man named John B. Jones command of the recently created Frontier Battalion of Texas Rangers. Now, John B. Jones is one of those interesting characters that fill the pages of Texas history. He'd been born in South Carolina in 1834 and came to Texas with his family in 1838 while Texas was still in its early phase of being an independent republic. He first lived in Travis County, and over the years moved to land that became part of Matagorda County and then to a site in modern Navarro County. Being from South Carolina, it should be no surprise that Jones was one of many Texans that opposed Sam Houston's desire to remain in the United States when the Civil War started. During the war, He established a reputation that led 19th century Texas Rangers historian Wilburn Hill King to write that Jones had established, quote, an excellent record as a man of superior business tact and judgment, and on the battlefield, his coolness, quickness of judgment, breadth of comprehension, soldierly skill, and management had marked him as one to trust in time of difficulty. Jones started as a private with Terry's 8th Texas Cavalry before becoming an assistant adjutant general in Polignac's brigade, and he finished the war out with the rank of major. Unhappy with the war's results, this unreconstructed rebel decided to go to Mexico to create a Confederate colony for like-minded folks. This didn't last long, and he soon returned to Texas. In 1868, he ran and won a spot in the Texas State Legislature, as a representative for Ellis, Hill, Kaufman, and Navarro counties. He never got to serve, however, because the Republicans in power denied him his seat. The legislature authorized the formation of a battalion of Texas Rangers in January of 1874 to enforce Governor Koch's demand for an end to Indian raids on settlements and the enforcement of law in the already settled interior. This became known as the Frontier Battalion, with six companies containing 75 men in each. And then, this led to Governor Koch naming John B. Jones as commander of the Frontier Battalion with the rank of Major on May 2nd, 1874. Now, Jones' own reports state that during the battalion's first six months of service, the Frontier Battalion had engaged with 14 of the 40 known raiding parties. During the second six months, they only engaged in four fights with Native American raiders. And after the first year of service, the Frontier Battalion only had to deal with six raids and one small battle. During this time, Jones reported an estimated 37 Native Americans killed in combat, with the battalion only having six men wounded, and they only lost two to death. Now, it's important to remember that this time coincided with the United States Army's Red River War against the Southern Plains tribes that resulted in the majority of the Comanches and Kiowas moving to the reservation at Fort Sill near modern-day Lawton, Oklahoma, in the spring of 1875. Jones commanded the Frontier Battalion for a total of seven years, and one of the highlights of his command was the pursuit of outlaw gang led by Sam Bass, which led to Bass's death near Round Rock in 1878. Jones himself died at 46 years old in Austin on July 19, 1881, while serving as the state's adjutant general and still commanding the Frontier Battalion. The battalion itself came to an end with a court order in 1900. So that's our Daily Dose of Texas History. Thanks for listening. As usual, the theme music is by the great Derek McClendon, so thanks again to him. Be sure to check out his music wherever you listen to digital music. 
Let's end today's episode with a new Texas Spotlight artist, Peyton Matus. He's currently got an EP out, The Campfire Sessions, and a single, Lost Highway Boots. And new music is going to be coming out by him very soon. We'll be announcing that. And he's going to make an appearance on the show with a presentation of his own quite soon. So this is Peyton Matus singing The Boy With Blood On His Hands from the Campfire Sessions EP. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be kind. Adios. Not sure if I should hate the boy with blood on his hands. World between his teeth, just trying to be a man. Or if I should hold him close when we're furthest from the dawn Or if the man with all the scars is ready to move on For he put me to sleep in, in a dark that knows no light Solitary isolation, never-ending night Chased by all the wolves that never howl but always bite I never knew a dream until the dream had come to life Wiped the sweat from above his brow, pulled himself up off the floor Picked up the shattered pieces of the heart he had before Took a bullet from his pocket, spun the cylinder and cocked it. Put the barrel to his head, took one shot and never more. That boy, he tried to kill me Till I took the gun from his hands Said it's time to cowboy up And decide to be a man The wolves will keep it coming Until we make a stand Do you want to be The man who fought or the boy that turned and ran? should hate the boy with blood on his hands world between his teeth just trying to be a man